close door. What? I'm gonna close the door. Please do. Contention when it's Taiwan war, U.S. primacy in Asia is unsustainable. King creates a hostile China rise, undermines credibility with allies. China will, it will accept U.S. SOI if the U.S. signals accommodation here. In 19, China is presuming a Germany not to use a hostile with Germany, not trying to confuse the United States, indicate rest of evil, peaceful coexistence, and overlapping SOI. China is not trying to pose a system as neighbor. China could definitely tolerate American military presence in that reason. And let's say that contains China, China recognized domination, not to evil, Beijing thinks to return model when China is the primary paradox, limiting for military adventures, and because economic independence prevails, neighbors are no reason to challenge China's interests. Nice external ambition will be Beijing to be more sure to in response to external challenges. The rest of the news for the past decade has been a reaction when this is settled for peace would have been on where the United States tried to obstruct China's interests. U.S. pharmacy is not sustainable. But the power reductions are relevative to China's capability. We can see constraints committing budgetary priorities. Allies do not perceive that China is being considered most Asian allies. We are increasing the uncertainty about Washington's attention to security, adjusting policy to hedging its unreliability. The region is tasked with Washington's ability and the willingness on polling pharmacy to reinforce Beijing's belief that the United States to keep it supporting this would increase the chance of aggressive posture. Also, Jamaica must self fulfilling prophecy that the Washington should de escalate instead of pursue a long term stable balance of power. Absent accommodation spirals escalate to military conflicts. When in 19, sufficiently equal increased likelihood of U.S. China crisis as a result of federal result that one China's continued growth in military economic power and the decline of U.S. maritime predominance will eventually grant on sale world parity, cost China over estimates leverage on a Taiwan cause the United States overreact without a clear sense of the red line without reaching our understanding intention based calculation escalates to test a relative result. The result could be military combination should lead to a stable balance in Asia and diffusion conflict through mutual accommodation ending arms sales is key. Other options fail because China cares about Taiwan way more than the U.S. does. Gomez and 15 the area most supportive China's domestic politics in Taiwan trade. The status quo trade will be unsustainable. China improves military capabilities to grow power. Taiwan is a Chinese military efficient able most supports. We may roll quality events. Military intervention by the United States. We may have a former Chinese resistance. The A2AD complicates U.S. ability to project power. Best option running wars. Achieving strategy accommodation. Institute size and dog confidence voting. Establish mutual trust. Hold arms sales will benefit U.S. relations by moving a major summon block for developing bilateral military tiles. Holding sales does not mean that Taiwan's self defense forces would cease to exist if the Chinese respond positively. Beijing signals come up into accommodation. America is simply not having any other viable alternative. But in conflict, increasing military spending would be difficult to sustain. Any conflict in Taiwan trade will lead to a major war between U.S. and China. And to American weapon purchase could bring negotiation with China. Recent arms sales are red line. They inflame Chinese nationalism while cementing containment. Lee in 19, Taiwan's new plans to launch a military balance of ground defense offense might be cross Trump has shown unprecedented willingness as they tend with China. If the, uh, the F-16, the sale of F-16 Vs would be an indication that Taiwan defense is critical to U.S. strategy. Keeping the Pele confined to the first island chain would be an a plan to plan a unification was a historic task. She's been criticized. The legitimacy of the party would not survive the loss of Taiwan if the U.S. could side with F 16 The pressure on the president will be immense. Crisis over Taiwan draws in the U.S. closer. A lot of China concerns Taiwan. It's a land reunification means that key goal China has made a will use force of Taiwan declares an event because China places such high value in Taiwan that you should push potential danger. Crisis over Taiwan can easily escalate to nuclear war because each time I seem rational, the United States finds itself under pressure to protect Taiwan against attack or crisis on the floor, which the United States finds itself following events of prevent Chinese military capabilities. Make Beijing more willing to escalate. That war goes nuclear because Chinese nuclear conventional forces are intermingled. Thomas, and he too. China's increased pressure on Taiwan military combination for Chinese campaign against Taiwan seems plausible. China's nuclear uh, intermingled with the conventional forces are difficult to attack one without the other. Conventional forces during pressure that U.S. operation and dangers uh, and nuclear Chinese nuclear forces. China's failures might think that Washington empty on the conventional war. Beijing might conclude that nuclear explosion in the Bible. The most recent flashpoint is Taiwan. China could decide that the one over getting control is closing launch an attack. The anti American campaign caught off its movers, leading China's unsure attitude to sense of vulnerability. Favor U.S. strategy when a dangerous Chinese nuclear arsenal. Wartime balance could shift Chinese assumption about U.S. attention. Beijing might see nuclear escalation when it the conflict. China could use nuclear weapons to destroy U.S. air base. If such escalation appears far fetched, China's history suggests otherwise. Reducing arms sales signals U.S. threat reduction in reverse. Versus the perception of containment, Gilly and Ten Washington to scale back its arms sales to demilitarize the conflict, holding back sales and rejection of Taiwan's militarized base by signaling that Washington is respecting Chinese territorial sovereignty. Reductions lead to force reduction by China's will to end to Taiwan focus. Joseph and Taiwan to improve the chance of peace, the rising China Taiwan created a model for the peaceful resolution of China. Many conflict threat Asia arms sales are part and parcel of U.S. threat construction of China. The one see disrupts that circulation through analysis of alternative institutional arrangements, which is a necessary complement to represent representational critique. That Sterling Folker and Chinko 05 really reality with respect to Taiwan because the United States and the PRC both concerned with potential damage. They seek to balance power in order to avoid any their competition for regional domination. Taiwan began the cornerstone U.S. command ministry in Asia. U.S. sent naval force in the strength of the triangular relationship. It is replete with strategic deterrent calculation. U.S. attempts to pacify China will also contain China from a postponed perspective. Powers already at play. Realist analysis. Powers implicit in describing the realist version of reality. Privilege determination emerges while simultaneously bringing us as the knowers of the world, disciplines us to the world with certain duty. Realism is established by realism. National security justification greater than establishes the world or world order where we're by security and where welfare can be say to justify its violence. It is not the postmodern should attempting to move beyond power, rather they shift the focus to knowledge power good through which we represent the world by our directly question the singular version of reality and post the world we realist 
politics, one side to the deconstruct is a representation of the United States and China squaring off in a primordial contest between good and evil. Such a frame oversimplifies complexities, encourages practice with categories, actions, either or these types are fraught with doubt, contingency, and chance. It's not the state is irrelevant of postmodern concerns. We must locate sites of contestation that do not complete state security, survival without of individuals. It's not that change is not possible within realism. It seems counterproductive to look for change within representative practice while ignoring the state and there's a relationship with alternative sets of representation. If the radical down and judged by marginalized, it's not realized who state structure, then studying won't get any closer to understanding change. Reducing arms sales signals to uh, actually, uh, I'll skip the card. United States federal government should implement a substantial reduction of direct commercial sales and foreign military sales of arms to United States to Taiwan. We should use debate to hash out what alternative foreign policies look like. It is more productive than pure resistance, and there is a unique opportunity for ideas to take hold. Our method proves necessary uh, preparation at Shulman 18. Superficial dialogue, military first, military last, and wars with similar flow activity. The left of the field vacuum at time of misses of Trump. The space to question America's foreign policy may be winding the default position of the left. It's advice foreign policy, good domestic policy questions on intervention have no form. The origin of pacifism through common has no organized political presence. The thus escapes interrogation offers a refuge of principle throughout justification. Critical analysis, defense itself, unless a technocratic law, which has limited engagement of the people. Progressives undermine the underestimate the importance of discussion by military doctrine. Instead of uh, proposed questions about development, what should America do now? Find the gap between the Republican line and the stubborn anti militarism. It's essential the left of avoid becoming a character of that and promote simplistic, um, rigid, unserious standards. Should embrace the act Participation beyond the water state test, how to make a national security more democratic, more accountable, and making impactful contributions demands causal policy relevance and methodological pluralism. That is the only way to draw accurate contextual conclusions and prevent violent, imprecise re reification. That's dash and 19. Intellectual culture are committed to methods because they believe they illuminate policy problems, but because they dovetail with particular images, cost society, academic experience, how to make decisions, the independent policy analysis is essential. Can challenge basic policy assumptions, not take research, which does not take the military for granted. Is that the U.S. may be wrong? Academic, social, scientific, perfectly well suited. They have time to develop greater depth. Our political system events are groups offsetting each other's limitation. No arrangement for thought is secure. Though the does not take contact with the problems if it is presumed uh, if it is that it is presumed to solve political science to agree how Bowser is really rigor with their practical application. The best approach is methodological pluralism, which we're using not any kind of method, but the approach might not be most appropriate for the, uh, for the question of reinforcing pluralism. Maybe a commitment to a problem rather than method through research while theory is important. Too much is bad. Uh, effort to grant the race complexity of the social world to so the universal models, intellectual minds, so the phenomenon under study until as pretty suboptimal policy and oversimplification prevents great dangers. Universal models risk irrelevance or worse academics need to a uh, nuanced appreciation of the influences on policy. Scenario analysis is pedagogically valuable, analyzing how policies might otherwise be and imagining the is vital, is vital to critical reflexivity. That's pharma. It also seen generations of substantive research programs that are policy relevant, typically seen as serving corporate planning or policy tool. Yet it's not inherently limited to these uses in order to articulate suppressing a possible future alternative worlds. Are explicitly not forecast or projection on linear extrapolation, not hypothesis based experimentation nor simulation. Then say the fiction of possible future states of the world together with driving causal forces that could lead to those futures. On the, the ability to imagine level of prepare for discontinuity is by the existing mental models and math world and cognitive bias tendencies, such as group and confirmation by scenarios, help individuals break out of conventional ways of thinking, matching alternative future worlds through a structure and analytical process, and enable policymakers to envision thereby adapt to <coughs> Different from the no present, deliberately forward looking. And security dilemma is the best frame of analysis. Figuring out ways to compensate for international uncertainty is necessary for emancipatory goals. It cannot just be wished away. Booth, oh, wait. World politics have entered a new age of uncertainty, uncertainty of the 21st century, said to be intense, globalized, multi level, multi directional, and that on many key issue areas are likely to be subject to security development dynamics, and hence amenable to the analysis in terms of relevant primary. That concept uh, can have an impact, real sense of power, violence, and culture of The prospect of promoting world security awards, self aware policymakers and scholars can be done marginalized with insights and prescription offered by security dilemma theorists. And we can do believe that the traditional agenda should be approached with a prospect of a critical rather than orthodox problem solving theorist. And security sites or area for the globalization has produced its own global age. It is necessary to reorient its research into a deeper understanding of the role of certainty, war politics, financiality, and security dilemma is fundamental. This is an argument for pluralism. There is an opportunity to be addressed by a few collaboration across the spectrum with theoretical professors to perform agendas to the potential for human agency to build cooperation trust all of us political community panelism at global security should be self fulfilling and contract comprehensive understanding the dynamics of security dilemma the requirements of the political conditions of trust offer at least a glimpse into the theory and the uh, practice of a radically different world but a still realistic world but a world in which people are, are progressively emancipated from direct and trustful violence relations correct trust and mutual trust building represent the major um, the mirror image of these and fatalist assumptions that theory and the practice of trust building maybe must be a, a priority of the future agenda of academics if we want well, finally to see the emergence in the 21st century of true security studies as opposed to the insecurity studies has done in international relations since the Second Cold War. Second World War. Uh, first question. The 1AC obviously presents a political demand. Do you think there's a relationship between the speech act of the 1AC and the enactment of that debate? <coughs> Not necessarily like saying the 1AC leads to the exact plan. We sure. do think there's a relationship between our model of debate, the presentation of alternative foreign policies, and actualizing that discourse. Walk me through that internally. So we've read several pieces of evidence. The first thing to understand is first, there's a critical uniqueness question that there's kind of a hole in academia now because of leftist, the failure of leftist foreign policy, which has allowed a void to be filled by academia. The act, we would say, represents wait, the wait, a void filled with what? So oh, with like failed foreign policy. Our evidence says that foreign policy has been co-opted by the and, right okay. because of failures and of leftist. And the office is different than that. Yes, because the, the evidence diagnoses it because there's a failure of leftist academics to propose specific policies. You and said international relations as a field is failing, and then you yes. have failed to explain to me why the act is any different. 
Is it what? It's any different. Well, no, because our evidence says that spe spe like the proposal of specific policies is important. The dash evidence specifically Wait, so says that. So the reason that. that international relations is failing now is because there's no yes, policy. Yes, because policies? leftist academics have proposed broad universal claims that neglect the specific context of situations. Our evidence says this kind of creates for the public a choice between the militaristic right and the completely anti-militaristic left. Just, just to be clear, your argument is policy proposals don't exist in international relations now. DF offers policy proposals. Therefore, that solves the void. Well, the argument is that the left has failed in its approach to foreign policy. Both you just keep saying the same thing. Why? Yes, because you keep asking the same question. Why are um, ethics scenes the red line? Uh, our evidence says it crosses the line from defense to offense. It's a capability that's never been sold, and the selling of it shows China that we're willing to go over the line with Taiwan. Okay, um, what counts as scenario planning? So, uh, the Barma evidence is in the context of future looking scenarios, so, like weighing the consequences of the plan is certainly a form of scenario planning, while like any alternative or kind of plan is also scenario planning, okay. weighing the app against that is key to access our offense. Okay. Um, is it reason like you should weigh the plan? Sure. The Dirsch evidence and the Booth evidence both say pluralism yeah. uh, is good. Is there any limit to what pluralism can include? Well, like a, what do you mean limit to pluralism? Sure. So you've been like pluralism, we need to account for a bunch of perspectives. Yeah. I'm wondering at what point do we decide where we're drawing the line between what I mean, perspectives we need Obviously, there's not a specific line. line. The argument for pluralism is just like when considering a per, like a situation like US China war, we should not analyze it with a universal model. We should apply contextual frames sure. in order to but orient At which action. point do we decide that enough models is enough, right? Does that, does that make well, sense? Well, pluralism right? isn't just like incorporate infinite perspectives. Well, right now, that's what I'm. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, you're kind of misunderstanding. It's not like it? we should look at literally from every angle, but when uh, analyzing situations, we should a priori reject universal models and instead look at specific con like context. So your argument is just universalism is bad. That's part, yeah, part of it. And like, there's no root cause of like overall U.S. China war, but rather it should be filtered through the specificities of arms sales. Okay, how does the app resolve the security dilemma? The we've read several pieces of evidence. The Swain evidence says that a reduction of arms sales breaks that security dilemma because it shows China goodwill and a rejection of Taiwan as a militarized island base and a respect for the territorial sovereignty. That's it. Uh, one off then. Simple. The construction of the one reduces warfare to a series of normative decisions, troop deployments, the movement of arms, and total disputes and tension between great powers. This is a grossly inadequate framework for understanding the violence of the Europe in Grove 19. Warfare tests for territorialization, war making popular sort of tanks and bullets, are forced by the institution to rival six straight black boxes, food, red civic, and trade bombing, non human animals, so much fly back in the suits, also the ecosystem, or trade with chassis, because the ecological warfare and programs are concept that are as common as non tribunal, trade and cold calculation warnings, mutational rhythm and warfare that are just warfare, they enter the battlefield as dominant in this warfare, they already kind of understood that we got to the relation of warfare, they're going to force rather than warfare and state, which you can't control the use of time to break the deadlock, which you all understand you, go to bonds and warfare, we do, or basically to bonds, the echo cross plans, uh, drug, hard health, and inclusion, and knowledge, and are used to do some sort of information sharing, for social weapons, social media, weapons development, and new order comes to deal with information, your command, maintained, but I continue. You multiply the ability to support to gain momentum. There's no other normal to be on bad, 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 the study of war between security war policy, the life of those who class include a vendor of an interrupted legal war, a traditional self interest, left person, and self applied to lose power and power with arms dealers, kind of get the pursuit of war, stay making an analogy, set up in global digital world relations, with France and war, and they're the very type of relations, they have a slight war body, similar to war ecology, the normal workings of daily life, the global war ecology, and deputy jurists, and rather than even correlates for metaphor, world politics, there's a little settlement, capitalism, ecological destruction based on the stock of war, the intensive fabric of religion, requires the king, war, the lynch of African American, regime, and native American, true African practice, war, aggregates, and continental scale, war, and power to understand the world, world, and global systems, and the Eurocene exceeds the parameters of America. This is a global regime of sovereign terrorists sustained by Chinese complicity, Grove 19. 
What was that in the Indian Rex? Here we are the co hosting the period which the assumption is equally distributed. The classical warfare is because I'm working with the best with the very short time. It's little. His role comes to come support a war that can be regards for war. Has always thought that the national battery breaks of classification, humanizing missions, and it can always be war is not timeless. It is axiomatic tendencies that runs through the last 500 years. Worse for semi 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 automatic, semi autonomous trajectory of change that precedes and exceeds ideology and changes in production. The Eurocene, as the martial reality is preceded and exceeded, various seasons are completely proposed to the ideology of the Eurocene, where the military will summon the Eurocene free energy of deriving the energy itself from rising power of Russia and China. Jump is the alternative to the Eurocene. These states are appetites while added speed. Typical characters in part with the orbital velocity. The Eurocene is invisible before the left commented by these routines. Now, IR theory is nothing more than the engineering of policy under the Eurocene. The perfecting the rule of science meant to intensify is all too cost relationship with the imperial dominance of 19. I heard of self the health health economy of your science the economy. It's all the DOD money without similar kind of racism, but when more close to the violence, global racism, are not slowly the main one thing that will to all women's social rights and planet. Institutions that they say those keep the planet crumbs of their own imperial dreams. Yeah. Liberal internationalism or realism, what an idealism of international orders. The other self satisfied the times of war dominance, realism, but the optimistic of positive variety of extremes, excluding romantic and fearism. Elders on the other side, there's some crumbs of Jews, which are strategic insight, details, and implied symbols of the phobia, and represent the truth of the end of the global world. The war game for capturing the African country, can oppose the engineer, we love the death of our hacks, America, and think we can do, and thinks the American drone operator, nuclear attack. We were back on the military exchanges, it concepts, our specific subterranean violence of entrepreneurs, mercy and drug war CEOs, presidents and resource commissioners, and recognition of public employees, being mutated and reformed. So many uh, citizens and states are going to have to publicly strategies to the cities, which against the concepts like national interests, seeing quite strategy or war for war regimes. They will work, we let the core agent that future by the collective bots out. Their decision to be. Their decision to reduce this debate to the parameters of buying and selling arms reveals their utter inability to speak to colonial accumulation and appeals to shape these settlers of war COVID 19. Give the arms market is not the arms that is sold and purchased, that are also the active weapons on behind surplus confined by the electronic waste of the global south. When states like the northern lot is warfare, quantitative war exhibits predictable outcomes. You have quantitative advantage when receiving measures having interchangeable current conflict is a symmetrical quantity that quantifiable only global both sides are fighting tank for the US possesses twice as many mines can economy, large caravans, water bills down reversible these nations from cars to reunite you some of the things that organize life rules. Now either war is obsolete or people are the ecology of warfare ensures in the source of mutation and innovation for weaponry. The one you see moves to analyze war through a cause and effect change that intensifies the rhythm of the ecology of COVID-19. The military culture works also in the mutation and base war generated insists on distributing over assembly agents beyond the development of bullets and bombs. Here are all material also a liberal body ecology. We're not become technological wars become an assembly of the existence of the ecocentrical object that find the environment parts become more vibratory and the little kind of world learning increases rapidly. So political history properties more fluid and fluidity and creativity learning history, human history, not follow straight line. And it consists of the reverse race through ecology represents a tenement of objects that make intimate creativity possible at every level. The military leaders mutates and levels intensity of cause as a category requires balance and incident. No such movement exists. Perhaps that can capture rhythm or consistency. Act as you learn. Vote negative for failed IR as an affirmation of negative thinking, anything less than a pessimistic reading of the U.S. empires drenched in the blood of billions of lineal annihilated other years in Grove 19. There is no conspiracy that continues pessimistic reading of the other strategy of force, but the way to pro optimism, uh, pessimistic understanding helps later relief and everything. Fill out our forms negative to think as our turn to moralizing insights, says the freedom beyond what celebrates Jesus. Scholarship is a moment, throws both of them under the bus and neighbors around hope is a torsion. We are told that it's obligation to make things better, they'll try it with failure. It doesn't result in not believing pessimism, treat it for treason. Affirmative activity is a grasp for freedom, even that old free freedom is only fleeting. When fail scholarship, learn to die a little bit, listen to be loved to you, that the virtue are identifying themselves to how to be supposed to make a fix, policy and recommendation. They will not, and that's part of our virtue. They will be stubborn in alignment, America reject their dream to appear, recognize to be dangerous, will not be neoliberal drive to modern scholarship. So we'll ask. Where is your evidence philosophy? Uh, survive war, trust in heaven, and crusade seeking matters that is the not redemption of the pessimism, the dissolve of plastic warfare, they to consider the existence of the interpretation world than another policy report will each and each together. Disappointment of the deliverance must be limited with practice the money being the way of electric. The utilitarian risk calculus is irredeemably be violent, will create zones of sacrifice, draw on lines of racist and colonialist logic. Even their scaling of impact calculus, the global extinction is necessary for assessing violence, is grossly insufficient. Grove 19. Utilitarian risk calculus, where every greatest number of greatest number has no sensibility, unequally accurate conception. Universalist claims to have the gathered distribution of survivors, racialized and selective solidarities, and terms of characterized development and selective application of combat, zones of colonization. No single worldview explains how complex how there is a super plane that holds the vast system together. An image that Earth is system that benefits the enemy of the interest of the skill from place of planetary is a process of integration. Not the same planetary is political as well as the printer's possibility for chartering economic military cartography. Motors are outcomes of century and homogenization. No political project or in terms of future things consider the skill of understanding how it's essential for how we are worthy the plurality of the planet and can best invent something less nasty than the world can current. Global order. They will try to persuade you to try or die for the better future. You should refuse the false choices of the money. See, if all of this sounds too pessimistic, I would have counted there is no word of guardrails to prevent reality from being too catastrophic. Over 19. What if it is tried with that tried there? Worst things less than that. Quantum survival statistics cost not something I've tried there. No, no alternative to prevent reason to abandon another reality possible. The reverse nature is possible against this logic of a time troops might be too terrible. We can develop a real pessimism. Pessimistic to try for those who fear that you might do but are fighting anyway. But certainly, no certainty by the way forward said that it cannot be this. That case to be. What is it the plan gets circumvented? Ace of points in direct those R5 force and defy Germany's ban of weapons and secret security council shall ship to the UN components which apply for French company, which will trip off the kingdom of approval seem typically criminal. B sub point is a trumpet of book section 36 of the AEC against the selling arms book Lake Impact 24. 
Trumpet later had an official ob objection. AC Convention 36 and Democrats were the role of congressional objections to arms and emergency status. President Reagan sent to the President of Saudi Arabia that the University of Provision challenged one of the three powers. Congress has seen that point is to FMS Gallon 17. The United States military military from the conference expanded security cooperation. The United States used to FMS, student FMS, and FMS. Policy and process rules responsible to actions can involve in different student FMS or prioritize student FMS. Cases or process of FMS cases requires the acceleration of almost all their processes. Next is that reducing arms sales results in a direct transfer of surplus weapons to the police roll hall in 15. Military equipment used by police is manufactured by defense industry, investing in, in interest in expanding new markets, domestic market represent, represent new frontier. The best country for the police service is all financial and gold continues. This year, money get to the green blue pipeline. Funding for 1033 flies, I study for the order for the manufacturers and for release of promise trade associations. We'll also represent police lobby for Congress appropriate approaching those here. Of course, now, three is that complexity makes their predictions impossible to guarantee serial policy failure. If you want the data is inaccurate, then you should be sufficient reason to vote negative. 2018. I already saw plastic theory, the economic structure of the theoretical framework solves for these theories by conditional perceptions, ontology, and includes the content of theory to rational and to many variables that can be crucial to understanding point of reality. These missions are pronouncement, explain novels and behavior because non mainstream. The mainstream our theories are the uh, mainstream theories are Western. The observation that there's always theory related involving the inherent gap in theory and reality. The states are simple. It means that theories are not also much of the other political global as they trigger opportunities not to accurate consciousness and with individuals reduce the possibility of making certain predictions. The entire system hard to do a due to materialism and individual ontology to social science and construction of the self interest and power to see the rule. I all often institutions exist, but the ability to counter the to improve this power and interesting limited the commercial IRT series to fail to predict study. Yesterday, sending out and explain to them that linear route is not valid anymore. There are multiple off houses. First is the Seventh Fleet movement. The strategic location of Japan shuts down the East China Sea's operation for China and ability to move with the South China Sea creates containment atmosphere, which they don't solve the containment arguments. Second screen board. You here for call six? Uh, yes. So you've read a lot of that about like the Euro scene and its relationship to war. Why are arms sales an insufficient metric to analyze Taiwan war? Well, as well. The opposite is about how war is related in the Euro scene. Yeah. The construction of warfare within the Euro scene is one that is not based in a linear causality, but rather one place in what Grove calls the ecology. Okay, of war. so I guess how does the Euro scene explain war over Taiwan? Um, so we'll make arguments about why. We, we've read a card about how the app incorporates China into the Western led Euro yeah. scene. We'll make arguments about why portions of the app are underridden by this desire for incorporation. So oh. parts of your evidence says that. Expresses an anxiety about the collapse of the one China policy. <coughs> about why okay. the way that China so is un that? underwritten by Westphalian notions so of sovereignty. Okay, you, that we uh, you presented on. another link argument. You didn't answer my question about no, what that cause. explains because the reason they see Taiwan as a sort of frontier or something they need to conquer is because of the imposing of Westphalian sovereignty onto China. Yeah, we agree. The reason that China, China acts aggressively is because of U.S. containment, i.e., yeah. U.S. arms sales. Yeah, yeah, but the we AF, reduce that. Yeah, but the AF thinks that reducing arms sales is an avenue to do that. Our argument is that at best, the AF is reaffirmation of the, that form of incorporation, because of, which like, merely reaffirms. Okay. Okay, because of like other forms of U.S. containment? No, because oh, your evidence literally policy. says it's like the one China policy will collapse if we don't do the app. Yeah, and that the, the collapse of the one China policy isn't like integration into like the IMF. It's literally that China, U.S. would defend Taiwan in a war. How is that a form of integration? But you're, you're correct that it's not into the IMF, but yeah. it's still a U.S. China policy in regards yes. to how warfare can be. But how is that integration? It's no, not like a semi. Hold on. It's not just. It's, so you're misunderstanding. It's not integration into international corporations. Yeah. But our evidence says it's literally China replicating the phenotypic replications, which is a quote from the Grove evidence of Westphalian sovereignty, Western notions of territorial integrity, and the nation state as a coherent entity is scripted onto China. That's okay. what the anxiety about the one China policy signifies yeah. in the context of the fear of incorporation. Okay, like Ch Chinese public report. statements saying they want Taiwan, their history of indignation at U.S. containment yeah. has we'll, not, not proved we'll that read, independent of the U.S. they want Taiwan. We'll read evidence that traces the source of Chinese, the current Chinese desire for sovereignty. Okay, let's We're talk about utilitarianism. Yes. Why is it bad? So the Grove card is in the context of the idea of the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Uh -huh. There's no sensibility about how those sort of aggregate conceptions of yeah. entire populations are equally distributed across the globe. Oh, the idea that there's certain survivors. The equal, yeah, but like the equal, your critique of utilitarianism is that it doesn't apply equally. The axiomatic basis of util is that all lives are equal. No, util is based on maximizing value. It's not about yes. lives being equal. Well, yeah, that's true. But like lives are a moniker we often use for value. So I, I guess your well, critique of util is that sorry, your yeah. critique of util is that it doesn't value all lives equally. It's, it's not just that simple, but rather, one, utils an ethical consideration that doesn't begin with pure life as the yeah, sole unit of suffering value. as an intrinsic bad. Right, exactly. And so yeah. that idea... Well, for, well, so why is first life makes valuable a, absent pleasure with That first makes a determination of whether suffering is bad or the scales of suffering. Okay, awesome. are okay. uh, why is life valuable absent like pleasure within life? Well, it's... Okay, well, that's not the question that Grove Evans is making. It's a question of how those are distributed across the world. Second, 
Uh, stop prep 940. Is it 940? 940, yeah. Taiwan are the cornerstone views as hostile condemnation strategy toward China. They violate Chinese territorial legitimacy, which incites backlash, militarization, increases the risk of miscalculated nuclear combat. As here, so and Talmadge independently, also formally Taiwan as a frontier against a constructed Chinese threat. Analyzing the policy details, undergoing representation, and structural factors is a prerequisite to effective critique. This is a uh, that's the important limelight. This is our convention first with Joe Biden. Solves this negative action topic. We get to be on uh, that Trump a uh, good boy with the limitation. Otherwise, otherwise, experience no African ever be Trump says no. Second, Trump only cares if Trump's transactional. He won't give arms away for free because he uh, uses it to shore up his. his his uh, base. Third, they're all about uh, there is about small scale funding of small arms programs, not like F-16s, which are massive uh, things that can never get through. Uh, that can never get through without oversight. The uh, 1033 stuff. There's no link against his weapons to decommission U.S. weapons, not exports. That's Davenport. 18. There's transfer rights starts with multi service government. That piece of government is not necessary. This is uh, an ideal motivation. The government is rejected for transfer the organization through special uh, programs. They have it wrong. Uh, DoD weapons go to the FMS, not the other way around. Grasso 14. The uh, transfer programs have been barred from inventory. Transfer no longer needed by the DoD being reserved. Um, we buy various goods about 56,000 military organization. Get over 3.5 million. I'm the dealing suspicion. I'll have our arms for for more for military sales. Of our there's no uniqueness because they don't have any of the police need more weapons. Deep uh, complexity. So we answer on the K. With them, they have not. They have not indicted any of our evidence. Which means that uh, you should uh, give us uh, the manifest being true. The all causes stuff. Taiwan's security should get signals that the U.S. is containing China through a militarized island base. They have no evidence anything else. The K. Weigh the affirmative against the competitive alternative. Any other determination is arbitrary. And Musso NEC, which undermines fairness and clash truth and internal education and strategy testing. A uh, debate should be a uh, competing scenarios for action. That's best uh, for debate. That's what I'd like to foster social and political change in their analysis. is good. Key addiction of cognitive biases and act to imperfect information, which is necessary for the scale of belief any political strategy, even the all. There's no single starting point. You should draw on many different biases of scholarship to explain the world and strategize. The scenarios benefit us by providing a vehicle to combine many different theories. That's Barma. There's a window for progressive foreign policy, which is a key uh, the shape of the government's government, which is a key unit. This claims Trump's creative space. A polarizing foreign policy, we need those who effectively endorse intervention and those who oppose all militarism in the outfield to so discursive space with a more nuanced advocacy that carves out some uses for use imperialism without uh, intervention without wholesale endorsing that show of butt policy and also the key to gain through the door policymakers and nor method focus arguments because they want to be told what to do. That's dash and that's dash permanently both methodological pluralism is best as Blinker 14, the key challenge and IR for getting the team, a concept of the things they describe with danger of genocide war playing one subject to two transition without critical scrutiny, again, a far reaching consequence of methodological pluralism, that's most multiple methods on the same event, no single method can never actually represent the event. Or she gave the upper hand, but each cover details the other can also go range of methods surprise to win or deemed incompatible from post structural de insertion to a positive social sciences. Incompatibility can be rated by refined tendencies in each monocle. I like the explanation of international relations fail and obscure the proximal dynamics that cause war and violence. Rudder, oh wait, that was how the rich in her language, how president of our own clean the mechanics empire and war can approach. She blamed the cost effect of use foreign relations, uh, foreign relations, general like race law has been to our limits. The challenge is from the demonstrating relevance to your situation, only strategic, economic, political, other factors. The stories for relations try to adjust the complexity and different ways of effects. The zooming is never needed. Who is saying, for example, with the race religion more consistent with the U.S. policy toward Pakistan, India, how did uh, generation class shaping initiatives in Puerto Rico or Cuba, the uh, culture to include the operations of the cause and effect that does not necessarily limit why Seltzer others acts they do in the possession to interest interest Americans doing the Pacific War, demon as the uh, Japanese with the terrorists, the Chinese, who have all language like people wars, not discourse, emphasis, and image culturalism, because what is most important about U.S. foreign uh, relations, the AFAT ways before a utility only objective system, any other value system is logical and must justify itself consequentially because there's only uh, the only reason anything is good or bad is based on suffering. That means extinction has to outweigh and in terms of K because mass violence interventions are worse and have over 
channel. I'll answer the YouTube. Okay, here their justification for it is that it ignores population. That's a false obligation because we have said that they're, they're reducing all suffering as good. All basis of our, our accident basis is all lives are equal value. We haven't applied it in any other way. Their case is also tautological because they cohere the impact around uh, suffering, which was argument above. Top level framing issue on the link debate. They don't have any evidence about Taiwan. The plan is sufficient to solve escalatory tensions. This escalates to irritize the arms race now. And the only way else we trust base building and diplomacy with regards to the state based level, all regards about the individual level change, they can't solve and frame all their linearity and rationality. The claims to our specific internal links, they have no explanatory power for the Eurocene to the context of Taiwan, which is defense their internal links. The cross articulation was not about the app. There's no reason we assimilate China into Western territorial sovereignty. We independent of the USA won Taiwan, which is proven by historical analysis through several pieces of evidence that they have won as part of indignation of foreign interference and as a, a historical uh, slide to their power. I specifically evaluating events by the security dilemma is necessary. The world is marked by uncertainty that comes from a bunch of sources and causes, which is why one theory uh, can't capture anything and, and uncertainty in international politics likely do so alternative. The best way for a mass border approaches to gain hold is finding practical ways to build trust with the countries and lies of uncertainty, which only the F does. That's the booth piece of MSD. Uh, war thesis proper. The Euro scene is not a way to is a way to analyze things overall. They're just certain wars, but they have not done their specific arguments in the context of Taiwan, even if there are other elements describing overall wars. War is distinct from peace. There's no trade off. That's a uh, Barkawi 12th of the move this uh, this war should be assumed with the category of violence war is a more specific category for the reciprocal organized violence between political and the claims that the uh, state war should be pro violence war and be sure you distinct but that was right different forms of, of theorization what's the issue war Others, as I choose back, bar focus risk, losing this distinctive character. We have identified one example of war. We've not said the war isn't constantly going, just that nuclear war between the US and China would be bad. And we've also impacted on their thesis. Their whole argument is that uh, rational calculations of war is bad. If we win, reducing suffering is done by doing that, uh, then we uh, then we'll, we should win the debate. Our view of war reflects the reality of how policymakers do it, which means the all failed there. Roger 14, the root of that's from humankind is not devastating moral opposition, but in the old political, in the old political arrangement, the uh, structural issue rather human issue constitute political economy, states only relevant actors that can be provided more consideration of our secondary human saying it's rival and moral leaders and all fair security and morality, even if more than the human kind of itself in six the same scenario is there is murder card uh, scenarios there's let me read this card okay. I know. The next card says China once is not contentious. The uh, card by China says China once is not contentious to our view of them, which is a defense of real power and in the strategy of accommodation. The argument about I IR theory, we're not one static notion of IR, the stat of strong folk evidence and the art mythological pluralism offense proves that you should evaluate multiple different angles for international relations, not a single one, which is a prerequisite to their, their representational critique, but is uh, evaluating the specificity of the context of Taiwan and China. The, uh, there's no prior, uh, the prior questions of their mythological pluralism proves overall causes are worse than specifics, but there's a uh, question of prerequisite. Because they're bad as well. 13 ever since displays politics on the uh, activities of everyday people draw attention away from the real need for political challenges to build a uh, support and exercise authority. Some speech is not adequate, substitute for working signals, and necessity of a same capture of each is only possible by winning institutional authority. So, a uh, certain type of uh, rejection and uh, issues with major collapse system without preparing for a liberation. And the meaningful change requires some logic to the plan of integration with instant authority. The alternative cannot solve the avidance deal with the specificity of our arms key warrants and can't spill up fast enough. Changing military policy requires analysis of specific policies, not, general, not sweeping generalization. As Brian, 12. We need to answer the question of military logistics, but things are a war machine in their lives. If we were to produce change, we better know this violence, so we may make them our target. The people like to wave their hands when they say this is unjust. Believe that a political application, that the next response of your just science isn't that misses the point about this violence. You can strategically intervene. We already took for granted how horrible things are. We want to determine how to change that. We are supposed to change to be ideological. There have been a number of critiques about things changing. Martha critique fails to reach people who need to hear it because it's present academia that our regime public lands merely wonder how to get there. Debunk the ideological reasons for getting us a violence. We need good maps we can blow up the right numbers. Do you have to act to change things? Epistemologically focused fails us exact Seems to be trying to make some action. Those uh, further to talk is information action can be very difficult. The purposes of distinctions are way clear way for appreciation, difficulty, uncertainty, perplexity of real life political activism, and that requires dedicated organized action over time. Those who don't have official political power, wars, and those who don't have power to change the world, the people have to do what things the world, they hope to change the world, even they, uh, though they might not have the strong probability of getting the results, they act on should say what they want, of course, own statement, all discourse about what should be done has a link to, has a link, uh, to reality. There's no impact, no endless war, nor ecology of war, impact, nor unstability. So that's Barnes. 15. The bottom line remains that Iraq is a question of the limits of U.S. power. All mechanisms in the U.S. response to should be um, more truth permissation, putting aside the question of never any comment. There's little evidence of American public support such policy. U.S. power is limited by the necessity of creating and sustaining domestic support. There are real financial limits to U.S. freedom of action. There's little taste to do so for another large scale intervention. I'm going to read that card to skip. There's no root cause of war. It's structurally a form of violence, but not the other way around, which takes out other theses. This horror game is called more is not a product of capitalism, imperialism, gender, and integration, or any other single cause of war. It's fueled in states and other injustices. Once we have given them a shout of war, we will have resources to devote to other problems like economic injustice, poor health, and environmental destruction, which more often exacerbate peace because of the problems. These are those ways to make the world a better place to make abolishing war our priority. If you want justice, you should work for peace. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, though. 2AC obviously made a bunch of claims that you examine the Taiwan war, Taiwan situation from different perspectives. My question is what systems of international relations do you live from? Well, the argument is that that's exactly the argument. We should not view it from one system of international relations yeah, or one over one scripting. 
Well, the uh, Sterling Fokker evidence indicates that we should be from multiple angles and analyze what the proximate causes are. We, we, right, in fact, we, we take issue with the idea that we should look at it from an overarching one single ideological IR system, I but rather our argument about there being a proximate cause of arm cells in the status quo of signaling containment. Examples? Which specific systems? Sterling Fokker uses a postmodern perspective, Diaharo uses a realist perspective. Both yeah. come to the conclusion that the plan is a good idea. I have a really important question. If you have said methodological pluralism is good, how is defensive realism, which is a totalizing explanation of how countries operate, oh. not a form, not a double term with your argument? I don't think that's a double term. We've said that China is not. likely in the. We said that realism explains Chinese action well. What you as Amy just said, hold also on. the Dahar evidence is a broad claim about how international relations operate through the lens of defensive realism. That's exactly how the point. How have you not double term arguments that? Pluralism is good. Well, we've made a claim about realism. We've made a claim about postmodernism and the Sterling Fokker evidence, which means, which indicates that from multiple different perspectives, the plan can be determined right? as a good idea. Okay. Never mind. Uh, so it's, then the permutation. This yeah. part gets back to the one I see question, which is how much pluralism is enough pluralism? It seems like the permutation just incorporates different perspectives. So which perspectives should be left in and which perspectives should be left out? The bleaker card and the dash card in the one AC indicate that we should I guess we should not in, we should not exclude arbitrarily any positions or international relations explanations of conflict, but we should rather incorporate different ideas into proving why specific policy actions different are a good ideas. or bad idea. The Edelson we, evidence says it's it, in the context of very specific thinkers and realist thinkers who have avoided specific wars, but how does this explain things like the US still choosing to go into World War II, or how does it explain the Cold War, or those any other sorts of military engagements by the US? Yeah, well, we didn't read the Edelson evidence, but I'll answer that question. Oh, sorry, then, I guess, okay, the argument about prerequisites about changing institutions, why should we not examine our biases, especially when you have made a car an argument about pluralism before we engage institutions? We've made multiple arguments as to how engaging institutions at the proximate level, i.e. reducing arms sales and identifying that as a cause of rising tensions in the status quo is good. We've made several arguments as to how there's no prior question or root cause of those tensions. Well, and not how necessarily root cause, but I guess my question is, why should we not examine the ways that we might engage with institutions incorrectly or make the wrong policies? When we say the, well, I don't think, hey, one first, I don't think the alternative does that. The Zach and the Brian Card in, uh, actually impact turn the idea that the alternative is, is the alternative is focused on uh, ideological critique as ahead of proximate action. We say that since there are multiple ideological factors in international relations theories, we should focus on the proximate causes of conflict, which the app reduces the major one of. Uh, ten minutes. I said A, that the, this is the tautology argument that you cohere your critique of utilitarianism through it causes suffering. You will access that on a much larger scale because it is an, the axiomatic basis of it is to reduce suffering overall. Okay. Second, I said you misapplied utilitarianism to the affirmative. Okay, same. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good.
that's our front porch. Of 
a lantern there. <gasps> Methodological pillars and arguments here are first and caustic is embarrassing. They have read evidence that scripts a singular explanation of how countries act. That proves that 1AC is not methodological pluralism to any capacity. Second is that the, the, uh, the, actual, the act of evidence describes as of just, juxtaposing rather than inter- integrating is not an accurate description of the permutation. The role of debate is to juxtapose, which means that voting negative is a better juxtaposition than voting for the permutation. They say monocausal explanations of international relations fail. This will be answered by the root cause. Maybe we have not said that there's a single explanation for balance, but rather use the Eurocene as a refrain and an analytic to understand how the balance has, has operated in the last 500 years. Our argument is not about root cause. That was very clear. The extinction now ways in utility debate group and it will be in the one in our. They say suffering is bad. We agree that they say our events is about an individual level. We think debate is fundamentally a question of scholarship, which the one has agreed with. I don't know how we are more individual than they are. Grossest pessimism should be a collective refusal of anything, which is a, a quote from the alternative evidence. They say it's not about our events as well as by the Eurocene and it's not in the context of Taiwan. That's what the link debate is for. They have just said, they, they just say historical readings without any application of that to our argument. They will try to hinge, hinge this debate on you don't have specific evidence about the F. You should not fall prey to these. Please, because the choice was fundamentally unresponsive to any of our arguments. They say one theory can't capture everything else since you're both with the methodological pro- pro- They say war is distinct from peace. This is our link argument. The evidence says, quote, war is a reciprocal organized violence between political entities. And it says, quote, patriarchy is a distinct option. This proves all of our arguments about how they can never consider things like racism, misogyny, and patriarchy as war in and of themselves, not corollaries, which is in the overview. They say we have, they have just identified one instance of war. This was entered in the overview. It's not just responsive. This is just not responsive because it's about how you bring the U.S. China conflict to a catalyst of rupture in daily life, i.e., the construction of the one see plays into our link argument. They say the realism of the here extend growth. Their attachment to realism is complex in the IR theory, self regrandizing circumscription of global politics to the establishment of a positivist empirical and cultural relationship, which proves they are not methodological pluralism in international relations. We reject our optimistic view forwarding of realism versus that versus Eurocentrism. Realism's emphasis on the role of their state, national interest, and military powers, a global template for nine nation, non Western nations, is a guise to normalize the death rattle of Pax America on American drone operators, nuclear virtues, and macro economic manipulation through sanctions gives American absolute monopoly on global politics under the European realism. It's nothing more than an empty promise for non Western nations to gain a monopoly on the smoke and mirrors present in international relations under the, under the false pretense of a chance at war for all. Second is epistemology, their obsession with endless details on map of global politics, the global political board came of international relations to the usage of romantic empiricism is constructed to construct a positivist template for nation state behaviors that is logically weaponized by nation states to engineer a pose centered around nation states through offensive and defensive for defensive force projection and violence. I.e. realism becomes a justification for American placement of dad missiles in, in North Korea or uh, Chinese expansion into the South China Sea. Third is displacement realism conceptions like the national order and security, which is a quote from their Dahar evidence are being actively displaced by subterranean entrepreneurs that populate traversal battle through security quarters and borders the border zone. Third claim that states are driven by strategic ends for national interests are quaint in the face of sabotage of publicly said interests by extra legal actors and elites in the government like mercenaries, drug lords, CEOs, presidents, and commissioners. Their analysis both ignores and nationalizes the elite takeover of what realism identifies as the nation state interest. That's the growth of NCC. You should evaluate multiple different lens for international relations. This is interesting with the pluralism arguments. They say it's a prerequisite. Prerequisite questions are bad. You should group the Welsh, Bryant, and Zach events. I'll answer all of them here. One, the one NC evidence is about military logistics. Our argument is that the military logistics has taken on life its own. Your evidence is, or your evidence is pre cybernetics. It's before cloud computing and satellites. It's a dominant mode of power. It's prior, prior to net centric warfare and assumes logistical and doesn't assume logistical supply chain, which only our evidence does, which means we are a better analysis of military logistics than your evidence ever could be. Logistics has taken on a life of its own. Second is that pessimism is doing something to drive bifurcation between action theories that are endemic to the European politics of the European. The constant rules of pre scholarship that can be utilized as a utilization, utilization of academia, the growth of alternative evidence, and the one after the impact turn to this claim, which we have been explicit about 30, I'll show is a prerequisite vulture in all my team. One can understand the purpose of useful supply military without duplicating the culture, duplicating the logic, different within the complex, duplicating the culture, duplicating the critical geopolitics, and getting inside the beginning of drama, all in between critical logistics and supply chain, the purpose of the new duplicating culture research, and the lead couple combined the DLE records from the CDC and aircraft, few purposes of carbon intensive American appeals may possible through supply chain, we try to do duplicating the culture as a framework for understanding the use of military supply chain, understanding bureaucratic practices and ethical infrastructure, part of the facilitating military concepts can only be appreciated by examining the scope of the supply chain. They say you should. Uh, uh, they say no in endless ecology of war. In fact, this card of evidence mysteries what the ecology of war means and proves our link argument. It only understands an intervention and conflict that's falling into the designation of war, which proves our link argument. They say no root cause of war. One, we have agreed that explicitly that there's no root cause. One entity Grove explicitly says, quote, there's not a root cause that explains the Eurocene, but Grove's argument is that the Eurocene is a refrain that holds together the last 500 years. That means that there isn't a single explanation for violence, but it's a historical assemblage of violence and analysis conducted through the alternative second reading. This piece of evidence proves our link argument. Their argument that antagonistic exchange uh, causes forms of violence like racism and misogyny, which are, uh, proves how they never see those other forms of uh, violence as war, which is our link argument, extend arms controlling the reduction of warfare down to its micro units like weapons and arms is a move to dissociate to disassociate the object from the ecosystem establish a cause and effection purpose on understanding war through the lens of arms sales or evidence. For example, in the Greeks, the F-16 is a locus of China, U.S. Taiwan, is conflict that always in terms of case, a point is technological fetishism mechanic for military system strength on the basis of arms and weaponry is life world promulgated by the U.S. under the European <coughs> obscure nationalized U.S. age machine warfare possessing twice as many minds as competitors combined in accommodating large caravans to sustain foreign military, military presence. That turns case their obsession with technological determinism produces a socially causing concept by war making these 
the arms sales vectors, uh, soft sharing process of weapons, mutation, innovation, which amplifies global instability and ambiguity. The number of tanks only matters if both sides think they're fighting the tank war. The modality of war is fundamentally changed in ways one can account for logistics that's taking on a life of its own. Based point is colonial accumulation, studying where ecology to the lens of weapons that are sold and purchased to alter the outcome of war, normalizing the process of colonial accumulation. What weapons up behind surplus review previous wars, electronic waste for arms production, all proof. FMS and DCS are a new point. Very good. Yeah. Uh, how should they judge during what good and bad research is in the context of framework? The implications that that research has on our political subjectivity. Wait, so it's consequences on our political subjectivity? Not consequences in the sense that you are thinking, but consequences in the sense that what impact does the research that we have have? What impact does it have on us as individuals inside of the Sure, but I guess, what, I guess that, that goes back to the same question. How is the judge supposed to determine what impact it has on our own like internal subjectivity? I mean, you can make arguments about it, right? We've made arguments about why the presentation of the ecology of war through a certain lens produces unethical subjects. Subjects, you have presented a random gutted plan and not explained why that, justified that at the level of research, which is what our framework interpretation is. Okay, but I don't know why that, why is that an objective way the judge can know how to evaluate research because you can Because you can test the impacts of... Oh, wait, so it's about, the, it's about the impacts on our personal subjectivities. No, I wouldn't say personal, political subjectivities. Our political subjectivities, that's fine. Uh, the first card you read, what is child plexic warfare? Um, sure, so the Neve evidence says that there's been a shift away from the sort of broad, uh, the sort of large antagonistic exchanges that Yarvin talks about to forms of chaoplexic warfare, i.e. The, use, the usage of things like the CIA, of military within the military, is what the Neve evidence yeah, says. Why do you think that's applicable to the scenarios yeah, so, the YC is isolated yeah, so in the context of the China war? Yeah, so because the, I don't think the drones and CIA are being used in that war. Why even this is that after the AF, the AF idea that we have resolved US China conflict causes a shift to forms of chaoplexic warfare? What? Because do, do you have any evidence that that happened? Yeah, the Neve evidence literally like, says that there's a shift happening now. There's a shift happening now. Now, but why is the AF cause a or shift? Is that your frame of ending US China conflict facilitates that shift. Why? Th that's what I just explained. The, uh, because it, the evidence literally says it's a military within the military. Those are shadowy operations that skirt public scrutiny. That is your framing of ending conflict. Ending. Nationalizes so, those so would the alt reject just ending conflict as a whole? No, it's that your frame of ending US China war as resolving East Asian stability is bad because, or that, that framing is what justifies comes of chaoplex warfare in the periphery. Uh, that's fine. You said yeah, on the, really the, your, your Eurocene yeah. explanation, you said that you're not root, scripting a root cause, but the Eurocene is a good way to frame it. Yeah. Why, if we weigh that our contingent, uh, contingent examples of things that impact war, why should we just view it through a holistic sense of the Eurocene? Contingent examples of things that impact war. I of things that cause war, proximate causes. You can win that there's proximate causes of war. We have not made a, that like, like that's not our Okay, but I don't understand what, like you said that you no linked our arguments link, that, you, you link? no linked our index of root cause logic, and then you said that we should review war through a totalizing frame of the Euro scene. How are those things compatible? The second part, I don't, like, I, I don't know what you mean. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the argument is that you do not understand things like misogyny, racism, and okay. sure. I guess that plays my question. Why is there a why is there a trade off between those things? We we've said that a U.S. China nuclear war would be bad. Why does that mean that the Af well, ignores the other forms? Well, the very easy for us because you said you read evidence that was literally like this is what war is. War is uh, war is conflict between political. Sure. Why is that? Why, why is that not recognized that those other things are problems? Because, why is scripting them so, as war yeah, the key sure. so for that? So it's two things. One, our evidence says that the construction of the one AC matters. I.e. the idea that there is regional stability and that stability is disrupted through a cataclysmic rupture, right? The linear rupture That's, is so the argument that we've said is the... Uh, 
So the order is a little bit weird, but the Chinese incorporation link, the alternative, uh, then the util extinction debate, and then case. Okay. Right. 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 Yeah. So the Chinese incorporation link, the alternative, the util debate, and then case. Just so you all know, I like always flow one off debate straight down, yeah. so okay. definitely fly for them. But no, so. Pretty good. Chinese incorporation link and parameters that Europe have exceeded the geographic boundaries of America and now rely on their substance through the incorporation of rising power of China. Imperialism no longer operates via territorial boundaries, but has been tacitized into force and encompasses global geopolitics support. Their affirmation of the one China policy demands a Chinese geographic replication of American biological territorial nation state integrity under the Euro That's a growing piece of it. It's not like their characterization where it's about uh, integration into global IMF procedures, rather, it's about the one China policy and the fidelity to it. The one who sees Swain is complicit in the anxiety of Chinese collapse of China, one China policy says, quote, the US one China policy would collapse, unquote, and the one who sees Shenko and reforms the plans of year inauguration of when the U.S. quote reaffirmed the one China policy that there's only one China and one Taiwan is part of unquote. That means that one see itself is a history. It aligns itself with the history of Chinese nation state with the adoption of West Philippines of Japan and a Taiwan West Philippines of Japan the solution reformers. They all combined to say that all the principles of the new West Philippines and Chinese trade accumulation. Chinese have been taking the one China principles testified in influence with the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the principles and integrity of the integrity nation state. The Chinese have been taking the for intellectual freedom, the refusal of offer policy proposals is precisely the virtue of the alternative. Anything less than the affirmation of absolute pessimism is the service of the greatest dog under the Euro scene. The boogie negative refuses to offer the theorize around the Euro scene, but rather through it. The alternative disappointment of deliverance generates a collective refusal to accept cruelly optimistic promises and end bonds under the Euro scene. That's the growth piece of evidence. This means she should refuse policy realms when assessing the one seat and the alternative, which is by line step by the two AC, the post round encounter, whether it rejects the drive towards useful scholarship, but resounding no to the one seat prerequisite to dismantling and field subjectivity that is latent in policy making paradigms. Even if you have no ability to describe it all, you should still vote. Negative. But doctrine pessimism includes those who, who have no certainty about the way they afford except that this cannot be this. This is a quote from a piece of evidence. Go back to the Chinese corporation link. There are two. Next, the first is Chinese settler colonialism. Chinese sovereignty and existence is predicated on the existence of indigenous bodies like Uyghurs that become targets of Chinese settlement and uh, genocide under the paradigm for territorial expansion and integrity. Hassan, in 1870, applied Chinese policy to the definition of no doubt a settler colonial relationship and plus genocide and settler colonialism required the balance of trade and the goals and plus return to minorities. Colonies and regimes to the conflict of international goals forcing neighbors to resist native communities resisted by natives. Primary minority of the territory territorially as essential colonial specific element elements of genocide elements being used by the government since 1942. Author arrest and white basket dresses him issue of the rhetoric of reconciliation. Next, second is territorial dispute affect. Investments in Chinese territorial integrity ensure ensure uh, ensure the endless, uh, ensure an endless territorial dispute. If the one sea results in contingent instances of conflict, another tonic that draws the US will inevitably rights to ECS, the SES, and maritime disputes with Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia all prove. The uh, case speak. You told me. Sorry, you told me. My bad. <laughs> Rejected ethical predisposition to the Sending the growth piece of it presumes the best version of all of their offense. First is universalism. Utilitarianism invokes a collective weed, which ensures that uh, a solution be shaped by the targeted killing of bodies marked by race. Second is temporality to impact calculus, prioritize mythic future tragedy. Instead, you should shift concerns to everyday material violence under the Euro scene. Three is sequencing. Our argument isn't that you should ignore consequences, but rather an absent and refusal of global homogenous user space that is invoked under the impact calculus. Their impact calculus is weaponized to justify imperial violence. They say we're talking about about utilitarianism, starts on the basis that pleasure and happiness are valuable, that pain and suffering are, are not, which was the byline set up by one see classic, but that's so Prior to subjective determination to be made out of pleasure and happiness. Those of the global north bring more pleasure to the suffering of the south than util would maintain genocide. This is proven that Yemeni's genocide because the U.S. sees oil interests in Saudi Arabia as more important than 
The suffering caused by Yummy Genocide, they, mis they say we even misapplied it to the act the wife one criticized your appeals to utilitarian calculus justification for voting F and B. You're insisting that utilitarianism is the only possibility of impact violation, which are all specific links to your characterization within the debate. No reversibility arguments, if no future generation arguments, means that this is too late to be made in one error. His block strategies are pretty tough to see missteps, so don't scratch off the quote. The case bait. If you win any circumvention or argument, you should have voting negative presumption. Uh, but even if it when the act is a good idea, circumvention and ensures that the plan cannot be solved is not meaningful to the person status quo, which means you should default negative first. I'll answer in other indirect sales. Indirect sales can circumvent companies like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin and will use offshore subsidies and legal loopholes to prevent the act from Germany place banned weapons exports. The Middle East GMW used subsidies in Italy and Russia to sell send weapons to Saudi Arabia by sending the parts and constructing it inside Arabia. The US can sell some weapons to a foreign company that ships it to Taiwan to construct the death of the R5 piece of They say Trump is transactional, but what emergencies are not free, section uh, or emergencies are not free because it still requires to be purchased by the company to purchase by the recipient country. Just different process by which they go through. They say small field fundings are not F 16, but one, the brown step by one is your crossing which is the signal of armed sales. So any weapons are key. Second, F 16s don't matter. China's fifth generation cell bombers, which can destroy F 16. So either it's about the signal, and any weapons are key to spread, to, 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 this proof as almost or that China doesn't care, the app doesn't solve three small parts that get shipped off to other countries, blocking Martin in general, but the next manufacturers F-16 which means that they'll offer subsidies to move and construct them in Taiwan. They say durable fiat, but I'll answer it here. First, there's no link. Durable fiat mandates that the plan happens and stays in place. We don't change the official reduction FMS and DCS that the plan mandates. Second is that durable fiat to overcome circumvention is net less real world. Politicians backlash and corporations prioritize profit and backlash to Congress and Trump in the real world, which means that only we access all other impacts. To answering the should question requires consideration of how the question kept and 16 analytic feasibility for proposing reforms and core components out of the feasibility of survey. Important feasibility and desirability should not be shown in isolation. Political arguments regarding action and feasibility becomes vital important and desirability. While this is not desirable, the included that is necessary to address the problem that the feasibility constraints become the law of exclusive returns with. Mark's credit with. Yeah. 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 I do um, end up jumping around, I'll like, say where I'm going to. Generally, how that's worked, yeah. yeah. <laughs> TCS or FMS or infinite programs like VPC and uh, internal DOD programs that could increase post app, which means every app will lose, which will be impacted on framework. It's not absolute how questions or real world questions because that's a question of also some amount of should questions because otherwise the app will lose every single way. Indirect sales is literally illegal for them to sell it independent of the government. That's the reason that FMS exists. Even then, it's the symbolism of F16. It's not the symbolism of weapons overall because they cross the lines of defense to offense, which means that it doesn't increase the uh, propensity for overall. The critique at the top we have not committed to an overall world ordering of systems, capitalism, or coherence. The 
impacts will only matter the overview insofar as they can draw an internal link between the plan and them. You should, there's no turns against arguments because you said prefer specificity. They have not provided alternative kills out of why the conflict occurs. We've said arms sales are a sign of militarized allies on the border of China. We're saying the no alternative kills out of the evidence first durable field solids because we can't increase drones close half seconds and they have no evidence that the plan leads to the uh, leads to an increase in drones. Obviously the evidence about Taiwan it's um, the plan is to draw down military technology. Saying war is bad is not just by violence to stop war and the ideology of anti-militarism the AF adopts is enough to solve and cut through that framework. Maybe the can see all it's key to clash which is a uh, solves our offense over the course of a season because we learn about their scholarship and then can apply it outside of round but when the AF is key to that for a significant you need this question the dash evidence says that the failure of academia to propose specific policies and, and, and to just reject militarism overall has provided a void and co-option of the right which is impact towards the alternative but scenario planning can break out of that they don't say the words scenario planning in the chunty they can see the bar evidence has a future looking which is an inherent term to a uh, pessimism because it allows us to break out of dogma by considering what could be otherwise they say research possible there's no objective metric to tell what research is good or bad yes we chose one ac but we use the consequences of the one ac to prove research is good there are infinite epistemological or ontological routines but we use the consequences of reciprocity the advantages of the one ac revolve around the consequences neoliberalism policy relevance is good it might not solve the one ac but it's good for activism because we should uh, orient our scholarship within pragmatic concerns to reduce suffering outside the space academic militarization the one ac was anti-war which just proves this overall um they say uh, effective construction and the militarism stuff we saw this because as for the growth evidence you can critique research but you just have to wait against the one ac our frameworks and middle ground that solves the majority of, of their offense scenarios are key to action because it motivates us and it makes us aware of what injustices are going occur and says and orient yourself to overall structures the um the, the real the permutation do both then the all is so big the, we can reject pessimism and militarism and american empire overall but recognize that arms sales or a form of that militarism as well will defend the scholarship so it's not suffering it's not footnoting it's we don't deprioritize all it's a combination of mutually reinforced strategies and that reduces me- suffering they say we're a double term of methodological pluralism it's not true because we've analyzed both realism and postmodernism and both of those authors conclude our way even then the perm solves the double term because it incorporates the ideology of the alternative the war link our argument is that war is by definition a conflict between two actors but that is not to say that violence of racism or sexism doesn't matter. Our evidence just says literally, definitionally, it's distinct. But that's not a reason we disregard it. Just a reason that we use different frames and they can orient ourselves more effectively. They say realism. We don't need an overall realism argument because we run in the context of Taiwan that China acts in response to U.S. aggression, which is an unchallenged claim that they hear in the swing evidence makes. It's not Eurocentric because by definition, we're applying it only in the context of China. Mapping out is good. The reason that they have concluded that that is bad is through a consequential analysis that it provokes aggression and is imperialist. We have concluded, we have come to the same conclusions with arms sales. They say uh, national security. Our evidence says it's not pure national security that motivates China. Rather, it should be situated within cultural context, which we have done, i.e. that China, for China, Taiwan holds a cultural importance because they see this key to CCP legitimacy. Um, they say all they, they say the ultimate, the um, the first is the Bryant's evidence. They say it doesn't apply to cybernetics. That's wrong. The Bryant's evidence does apply more to cybernetics, i.e. how can we hack the system? How can we turn it against itself? That can only apply when we understand it, which is the reason that kind of the military industrial complex and cybernetic militarism seeks to occlude information about itself, which is reason transparency and learning is good. They say the alt is a prerequisite. Our whole argument is that there are infinite prerequisite claims, i.e. when do we know we've dissected biases enough. Our argument is that these broad claims, when they, even if they do spill out, don't lead to specific materialism, and more often than not are co-opted by the right, which is why we should start at the uh, position of specific policies. They say Barnes, yes, and it, it doesn't answer their stuff like um, uh, structural violence on an alter level, but it answers their broad imperialism militarism argument, because they can see that intervention is on the decline insofar as budget sequestration and war fatigue has stopped the American empire from lashing out, which is a terminal impact and terminal linking to all the root cause of. They say arms control. This is the second link in the UNC. Uh, t- there's no link to techno fetishism. Saying that arms are the cause of one conflict does not mean that we think technology is root cause of all conflict or that we need to increase arms in other conflicts. This like their evidence is incredibly generic and does not speak uh, to the cause within Taiwan. They say on um, the planet, it's not uh, the, they say the Taiwan link uh, first that we have not said that chi- that Chinese uh, settler colonialism is good and the planet is not an affirmation of that insofar as we think that giving agency to Taiwan and China is good even if it's somewhat militaristic. Um, the, we're denying them arms sales and saying that we should contain them which they can see an arms sales are an example is far more militaristic. It's not territorial disputes turns case because ECS and SES if there are no evidence that will draw in the US only Taiwan holds that position for us. Util is good. We've been saying extinction at ways because biological is life there's a prerequisite to being within the world targeted killing is bad is because it produces suffering which proves that they are cohere the arguments around suffering everyday violence is weighed within utilitarianism because that's a form of suffering the homogeneous stuff axiomatically committing ourselves to the value of life not only means our impact outweighs on a much much larger scale than the critique but also subsumes our offense yes the point of suffering is that there is value it is somewhat objective but the only way that we can uh, compare alternative metrics of um, analysis is using utilitarianism they provided no alternative metric the reason that they've concluded that the Yemen war is bad is because it co- cause more suffering than it permits it, which is a utilitarian calculation.
it'll start in the two year review. Conceded argument the SCS, ECS, and territorial dispute. 
disputes with developing the nature of Asia all prove that they structurally make conflict inevitable, which is a conceded terms case argument. They say, uh, they say we are way different that utilitarianism, i.e. The, uh, the, they're different in our index to uh, utilitarianism's broad impact calculus, the idea that their collective lives to be saved naturalizes violence in the perfect second to fundamental sequence in question. Our argument is that argument is not that you should ignore consequences, but that about a refusal, but the homogenous, uh, homogenous user space that is under the impact calculus, the alternative. We just have to win that we reject the rhetorical representation because we are massively ahead on the framework space, which means that we have already won this debate and also proves that you can just keep the alternative for us and they don't really have a uh, representation to do that. <coughs>
smoothie pastry. Okay. calculation of weighing costs and benefits through forward-looking predictions is the best way to look at the world. It orients us within the position of how structures could be otherwise, which the bar McCart says is give reduced dog monkey to critical reflexivity, which intimately turns all their offense because it's key to actualizing the benefits of any uh, strategy. The 1AC was an example of a specific policy that can reduce the risk of war and reduce suffering overall, which they have not come to grips with because they can see the entirety of the solvent space. We should frame how you evaluate any of their uh, ability to describe uh, and explain for any of our impacts. Their approach of absolute pessimism locks in structures as they are the status quo, which prevents a viable advocacy and ability to change those things. I'll bring the ultimate to the top. Ten seconds is not enough when we have two pieces of evidence that impact on uh, their strategy of absolute refusal. Uh, first thing is here, you need seven, uh, you need this question that show my says that, uh, says that uh, right now there's an opening for uh, the left and the right to fill foreign policy, right? Uh, what their absolute pessimism sees that to the right, which internalizes all the offense because absolute rejection means uh, the right get the right wing uh, conservatives to get to determine what uh, get to determine what uh, what this foreign policy looks like, but only our strategy of advocating four different foreign policies can uh, solve that. The, the bright evidence, the, uh, the, it says that they're mapping the supply lines of uh, military logistics and uh, by the way, what policies would be effective is the only way to solve uh, for back from militarism to solve any of their office. The only argument here is that it doesn't assume new cloud competing. I don't know what this means. It's, uh, it's about overall militarism and uh, overall militarism and how we need to engage it. It's, uh, uh, they don't contextualize any of this argument as to how cloud makes, uh, how cloud computing makes uh, military mapping different in the context of engaging institution. This is way too generic. The, uh, it's an argument that's why transparency and engagement is better than absolute refusal. The, uh, they also can see the exact evidence is that theorizing is bad. Theorizing and pointing out problems without solution is naive and a uh, naive conservative tactic that uh, locks in that locks in status quo attitudes means we can uh, never solve anything. The overview stuff, uh, the, the IRDK stuff, it just assume two arguments. First, the Barnes and Mendes says that uh, intervention is declining use militarism uh, will be uh, constrained the status quo, which means that uh, the, which means that overshare impacts won't happen. Second, they I'm gonna see the best fits their scenario. They have no evidence that Taiwan wars never. We can solve that by uh, getting rid of Taiwan's and militarized elements and then see the, all the arms scale arms key at war and see uh, the, the, the shadow war arguments. They have no argument as to specificity as to how we're using arms cells Taiwan uh, at least in more use of drones in the context of China. They have just said that it causes drone strikes in the Middle East, but their evidence is not about what the affirmative does. There's no reason to justify any other force intervention. When we have made a broad claim the militarism in the context of China and Taiwan, of China and Taiwan is by the framework to make proper way the app against the all the clash is the is an intrinsic good, but only comes about through the process of debating clash solves their offense and makes us more ethical actors. We'll come to agree with their scholarship only through debating it over the course of the year, which internal link turns of uh, their argument after choice is wrong. We choose our consequences, but impossible for us to justify our scholarship in a vacuum, which uh, answers that reciprocity goes out. You can critique our scholarship under our model, which solves our activity construction offense and provides a race of critical fringes, but you just have to weigh the links of first consequences. Our framework is a middle ground that preserves the most amount of lives for both uh, for both sides. The neoliberalism, the eighth first, borders, some arguments, and internal link turn with scenario planning, identifying injustice, and crafting solutions might not uh, might not cause the app, but by making us more aware about current injustice and inspires action and breaks down creativity. But voting app forwards a model of deliberation, which could include endorsement of the YC, but is not Necessary. The VTL stuff was a blip in the two and R. The war was endless optimism, but we were winning a claim that reformation of institutional foreign policy is productive and possible. They say research body solves policy. Uh, there's no objective metric to find what's good or bad research in the abstract, but our model provides one of consequences. Their model invites infinite epistemological or ontological critiques to want to see which the F can never predict and prepare for. The decision making stuff at the bottom, yes, debate doesn't literally reflect governmental organizations, but by making us more aware of problems, it forces us to calculate what uh, we could do. Uh, otherwise, the util debate, the two and R had 10 seconds on it, and the one had 30 max. Maximizing pleasure and minimizing suffering is the best metric. It's the only non tautological system that accepts all humans as intrinsically valuable, which no links any of their targeting offense. All their predicts of util are based on tautological affirmations of reducing suffering, which proves the app de facto always a big shadow wars impact. They have only come to uh, the conclusion that shadow wars are bad because they increase the suffering, which means any risk we solve extinction outweighs uh, it's because biological being is a prerequisite to existence and uh, to value. I'm not saying the perm, but I'll answer the realism argument here. We said uh, realism is true in the context of China, not script. We didn't say a script at all war overall. That's the same thing as they said with the Euro explanation. We have said that it's a way you can evaluate China, but uh, the, there's no link to their stuff about how it valorizes U U.S. imperialism. The, uh, the, the stuff about U.S. imperialism, uh, we didn't, we, we've we critiqued national security logic overall. We said that uh, that frame is bad because national security uh, justifies arms sales, which we have uh, said is bad because it causes the containment of China. The, uh, display, the, the ignorance of planet stuff, there's no evidence about uh, causing intervention overall. And, and this argument is just answered by the fact that we just said the states operate one way, not uh, that scripts everything. The China Corporation, like, the, uh, if one China is bad, arms sales are much, a much worse form of militarism, which linked towards the 
argue and snorkel, and now to prove Sterling Fulker says that uh, arms sales are part and parcel of the Cold War containment policy. They impose Western norms on other countries like China because we saw them as communists and backwards. That it is far worse to maintain that status quo justification, uh, but the app gives critical agency and reverses that. If they're right, then Chinese imperialism is bad. The app, uh, the app puts the U.S. at fault for both rejects China uh, and U.S. imperialism. And, is that well? turns case S E S E C S. Oh yeah, sorry. That uh, turns case about NTS and ECS. They have no evidence that uh, China cares as much, and or that the U.S. could join in those situations. The inevitably violence exhibit U.S. trade stuff. Uh, we have not scripted anything. Taiwan's a different desire that provides history. <coughs>
like soft copy through, so they'll send it to us in the yeah. course. Yeah. I actually have to. Yeah. Yeah. It, sure. might, it takes three hours to upload yeah. each, so it might be a bit turn, yeah. but we will send it to you. Well, I was gonna watch it tonight. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Because okay, I was kidding. I'm not okay, gonna okay. watch it tonight. Okay. I was just that's really weird. <laughs> yeah. There's dedication. <laughs> yeah. I know there was one judge I saw at MIT who like listened back to the debates to make sure his like decision was good. Yeah, I actually think you shouldn't do that. Because like you, it's only about.